Hey, we're the guys putting in the uh, Madison, Eau Claire, and Mostyn superchargers for Tesla. Awesome. I uh, really, really appreciate your hard work in this freezing temperatures out here, and uh, hopefully you guys can get her done. Thank you. All right. Well, looks like we might have <clears throat> a slight delay with the uh, Eau Claire. There is going to be a supercharger in Eau Claire, and it looks like we're going to have a slight delay at the... Uh, Wisconsin, uh, excuse me, uh, Madison Superchargers. Uh, the problem is, of course, this is Wisconsin. And uh, we have this little issue that happens uh, ooh, about six months out of the year. And that issue is it gets cold out. Really cold. And when things get cold, things don't work quite right. Uh, such as it's hard to pull really heavy gauge wire through underground conduit and it's also somewhat difficult to pour concrete um, as you just saw in that quick little clip uh, those are two of the guys doing the supercharger install they're currently working in Madison um, they also did the Mostyn charger and they will are supposed to be doing the Eclair charger after Madison now our problem becomes uh, they can't pull the wire, at least not cheaply. Um, having a little trouble getting everything going. That's um, apparently uh, Mostyn is pretty much could be turned on almost any day, but um, they have some heavy-duty wire they have to pull and it's just too cold to do it and uh, they're waiting for approval or something of that sort um, basically to it well they can do it it just costs quite a bit more and they're waiting for approval on that um, so um, once they can get if they can get that approval um, then Mostyn will be up and running uh, if Claire is an entirely different story they that may or may not even happen this winter now. Uh, Madison is going to be a slow progress uh, because of that. Um, how can I explain? Uh, Madison may not be done by the end of 2013. There is a lot of work to do yet and the cold weather and the snow is making it very difficult. Now, if we can, if we luck out and get um, a warm spell, maybe uh, low 50s, just for like maybe four or five days, I think they might be able to pull off some magic. Uh, until then, um, it's gonna be it's gonna be uh, uh, a tough one. So, there you go. Still have hopes. Um, they're they're pretty sure they'll get uh, since all the equipment's pretty much in already at uh, Madison. Excuse me, Mostyn. Too many M's. Waukee, Mostyn, Madison. Uh, Mostyn. Um, they should be able to get that one going. So which uh, if they can get at least Mostyn going. That opens up the Wisconsin uh, Northwest to Southeast corridor because you can get from Chicago all the way to Mostyn on a single charge with an 85 battery pack and you can get from Chicago to Mostyn on a 60 if you drive really really slow like uh, speed limit 65 if you do 60 you'd make it Although you'd be better off stopping in Madison, even if it's if it's the supercharger's not done, and uh, there are a number of level two chargers. Um, my favorite is the High V grocery store. You'll have to look it up on PlugShare. But the High V actually is operating at I believe 240 volts at 30 amp, 32 amp. Uh, so all you need to do is you know top off, get an extra 20 miles. Of range on a 60 and you should be fine getting to Mostyn if you are looking to go um, that distance. Um, 
<laughs> Very nice gentlemen. I'm sure I'll be seeing them quite a bit. Uh, they also, I believe they said they did Grants Pass, Oregon. Uh, so, um, even if we can't get this Madison one done, at least we still got uh, Moston coming. Uh, they couldn't believe that uh, Tesla didn't put it in Chicago uh, in the Dells either. Doesn't seem like anybody can believe that they didn't put the Moston charger in the Dells, and instead they put it in in, in Moston. Uh, I don't think anybody's going to hear the end of that one. Uh, uh, let's see other thoughts. Uh, the high, slight dehydration setting in, so the brain's working a little slow. The air's really dry right now. Um, cuteness factor while I'm thinking. So, uh, let's see, other calculations. You can, on uh, both battery packs, get from Austin to Rockford. So, like I said, if, if the uh, Madison one's not open by the end of the year, while well, it kind of sucks, uh, it's not too big of a deal. It would make the best, most difference in the wintertime when our range is severely injured uh, or severely challenged I should say um, with the cold temperatures but it's not you know the end of the world um, that Mawson one at the moment is going to be the most important um, and I don't know what else to say on that um, so I'm gonna I'm gonna meet up with these gentlemen regularly and uh, Hopefully, uh, within a, at least a couple weeks, we might get uh, Austin open. We'll have a nice big party there. Uh, I'm gonna do my best to try. I'm gonna try and set up to stream to stream uh, the grand opening of Austin live for you, for y'all. And and I guess that's it. I'm gonna put the camera down now because some of these people are driving like morons. And I really don't like, I shouldn't say, I, I wouldn't get killed. Whoever I'm, whoever hits me is probably going to be the one that gets killed. But I'd like to avoid an accident if at all possible. Uh, and I will say, uh, even though I made a separate video on it, uh, the Model S seems to be doing fine on slick roads. Uh, Four-wheel drive, wheel drive version will be very welcome. Uh, I think if I put snow tires on, we'd be all set and perfect, but I got the stock good years, so, it's eh, so-so. But, uh, given my driving, by the end of the year, I'm gonna need a new set of tires anyways. I'll be at least 20,000 miles. I'll save these for spare tires in case I pick up a flat or something. So, I think I'm gonna look into some snow tires. Then I'd be better off getting a second set of rooms. Alright, fine. Camera's going down. Bye. One thing I had forgotten to mention, uh, even if the Madison Supercharger uh, doesn't make it this in this winter, uh, there is already a uh, Chademo station that is free, at least for the time being. Uh, you'll have to contact Madison Gas and Electric uh, to obtain a free uh, Charimo card. They will also provide you with a uh, free charge point card. Uh, your choice. Um, uh, the card for the Charimo is only good in the Mad at the Madison Charimo. Uh, there is only one as well. It's limited to 50 kilowatt, of course. Um, and you will, of course, also have to have the Tesla to Charimo adapter, which uh, might not be out by the end of this year anyways. But at least on the bright side is uh, if you needed a quick charge, you still could get a quick charge. Now, that station is free uh, for the time being because uh, uh, Madison Gas and Electric is going to, is, or is uh, conducting a study on, uh, oh, we should not have it over. There goes the camera. Uh, anyways, Madison Gas and Electric is 
doing a study on the impact of uh, larger qu quantities of EVs on the local grid and uh, uh, potentially setting up a charging network in the uh, Madison or Dane County area. Uh, and that's pretty much it. Um, like I said, you're going to have to have that Chatimo adapter, um, which is a thousand bucks, starting at a thousand bucks. So maybe set up a uh, a share group, and uh, like we are in Milwaukee, uh, we set up a little share thing where uh, each of us is going to be throwing in 250 bucks, and uh, it's kind of like timeshare for a Chatimo adapter. Um, and then we can each reserve it as needed. Um, road trips, since it's mostly meant as road trips, it's not something we're going to need every day. Um, so, uh, that's it. I just thought I'd throw that out there to y'all.